And now for the conclusion of Duke Nukem 1, not to be confused with a Captain Planet villain. We are going to destroy Dr. Proton utterly and fantastically, decimating his ambitions until he comes back in the Duke Nukem Forever DLC. Which I don't know if I'd ever get around to. Sorry. That, that just has to do with a number of things. Even though I actually like the game. I don't know if it's LP-able yet. Let me get back to you on that. Okay. But No, I was thinking the other Duke Duke game I play is, uh... What's that, like, the Manhattan Project? That one seems alright. I think I mentioned that. It's pretty much fucking okay. So, look forward to that happening eventually. Not anytime soon, mind you, but it is likely. It is in the realm of likeliness. And that's the realm you want to be in on my channel. Where I might get around to you eventually, even if it feels like I've forgotten about you for ten years. Chances are I remembered and put you in the back of my head. Not to say that you were my boss. You're not. But, you know, sometimes I think about what people have said about me and requested of me in regards to YouTube. Not personally, mind you, but it's more like, Hey, do more of this. Or, hey, how about some of this? And I'm like, okay. I have more than enough things I could do without requests now, so if, if, again, my advice, if you're trying to make a serious request of me playing, helping the video game of your choice, besides me having to actually make sure I can actually do it, um, if you want me to take it seriously and consider it, uh, drop me an email. There's, the business email is in the YouTube channel description. I, I know because people keep using it to do th things for like s sign ups that they shouldn't be able to do but everyone does that they just don't talk about it because it's nonsense and there's ne none of the things ever come of it but hey yeah you know I don't, I don't know if anyone's taking me up on that what what someone ha what a few people have done is besides saying they're fans about a handful of those like literally like Maybe like five. There's been a few times I like this where people are like, where did you get those games and how did you make them run? Those are the questions I like answering because chances are no one else has. And secondly, even if they do know, I still like telling you. So questions about what I was doing, what game you want me to try, where did I even find half this shit can be directed to me in my email. Uh, Although, I suppose if you put it in my Twitter DM, I might answer you there, too. The point is, is you have to be front and center with your message. You can't just be like... You can't just be in like doing a hit-and-run comment and be like, Hey! But, I do read comments. There is, I still don't have enough people following me to be, for that to be an issue. But someday it's going to become an issue, and that's why I'm telling you you should probably be starting with the emails now before it comes to that. Alright. Power Glove are us. Bluke. Bluke. I am your blather. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yes, you can get over on the other side of that. You'll have to come up from under that place. But it's a lot of bonus material. So, whether I go in there or that is my choice. My game, my choice. I mean, I say my game, but really... I didn't make it. But you know what I mean. My... My LP, my choice. We're not doing the audience participation LPs. I know people like to do that, because... Decision making is hard. But I had no need for that. Maybe when I get... Maybe if there's, like, stream participation. Maybe. But the thing is, is that... It becomes an amorphous blob called the mob. So the amorphous mob... Kind of like how I seem to view most people as an amorphous mob until, you know, they identify themselves, so, yeah. What was that? Oh, okay. Alright. Either either my headset is screwing up, or there's some slight audio glitch. And I think there was actually in the game, but, um, it's not going to affect anything. I think I know what happened. I think the sound driver and DOSBox were just not agreeing that day. 
but I'm like, I'm doing good. I'll make sure that doesn't happen in the future. It's either that, or I'm getting the audio glitch now, and I can't tell you. But it's pretty much not something you normally hear, because normally there's music playing. And since there isn't, you get to notice all the little drips and sound bites of things you're not supposed to be hearing in Gaming Wolf's background secret underground lair thing. So don't pay attention to that shit behind the curtain, because it's shit. And now, for a true challenge! The snake on the conveyor belt! Oh no! And it's coming towards you at exactly the same pace as the conveyor! It's never gonna reach you in time! Oh. Uh. Okay, this is a little awkward. Come on. Shoot him! Shoot him now! Congrats. You get the 20k. Can I get a bit of a 20k here? Right now. Right here, right now. Dee-doop. Dee-doop, doop, dee-doop. One, four, six, seven. These are your lucky numbers, according to the fortune cookie. Yes, a fortune cookie is an allusion to something I will do in the future. But what is it? Unless you can stop Dr. Proton, Earth will be helpless against his mindless tech bots. Okay, look. I know... We're getting to that point where it's like, this is the point of no return, or good luck, and then everyone leaves me behind to deal with my own shit. So, okay. That's fine for the narrative. It's not really a tip, though. Here we wow, I shifted between two backgrounds just then. Nice effect. Whoosh! This is the final level. And, uh, it, this has come the closest to actually killing me. On my first try. By the way, I have not died at all. Whoa! Another Energizer Bunny line! I'm not even gonna touch them, just shoot them down. Oh, or, okay, I guess I touched one. That's more than enough, though. Now I've got the Rabatoid disease. The Rabatoids, the Rabatoids, the purple and they last forever. Purple shit. When you thought you couldn't get a weirder condiment. You remember that? Hey, you remember back then when you know you had you know you had ketchup and mustard, and someone's like, "Okay, we're gonna invent the third condiment," and it was like some purple stuff. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go look that up and be like, AKA not actually looking up things that I say. I'm gonna look up and be like, "Wow, it's like the other condiment that no one talks about anymore because it didn't really mean anything." But I was fascinated by it. I'm less like. Wow, something to, like, compete with ketchup and mustard, oh my god, you know. The, 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 pur the secret purple condiment. Oh, in other food news, this is a, a year or so ago, but Dunkaroos made a comeback. I think I announced that, I'm like, YES! I don't actually do much candy anymore, but I'm like, that's nice. That's something I missed from my childhood, that I'm glad came back, even though it was still Canada. I'm just like, why'd we throw that away? What's with you guys? That stuff's great. It's like, you know, it's 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 like the kid version of having the um, taco builder. It's like the snack dip builder thing. That's that's what I think should be happening. It's like, okay, kids, here's a custom sandwich. You put the pieces together. Look, it's like Legos. It's it's Minecraft but with food. That'll get him going, yeah. I don't shit on Minecraft, but I just mean. The custom building of stuff is like a secret, a secret educational tool in lunch. The one class they can get all A's on because all I have to do is show up and eat. It's like, what's your favorite class? Lunch. It's like, oh yeah. What about gym? It's like, no, that is the opposite of lunch. It's like, excuse me, you fool. Nutrition is very important. Didn't they teach you that? No. Well, I'm going to teach you now. Teacher, teacher, here comes the creature. Creature feature, because I'm not uh, featured. What does X15 mean? I don't know. Oh, um. Hmm. I could have sworn there was some other background noise, but I don't think you hear it. I, I think it might have just been some. some mechanical appliance, more than likely. Oh well. 
Yes, come to Game of Plays where we hear stuff like the laundry and the dishwasher. Haha. Uh -huh. So exciting. Whoa, baby! Well, I inserted the very last computer board. Proud of that. Okay, so there's an area here you have to drop into that has the time machine to Dr. Proton, so I like to imagine this is you going to, like, the end times. What is about nearing the post-apocalyptic or man's attempt to actually start colonizing space. Where no man has gone before. Also, everyone else that isn't a man. Obviously. It's, it's just literally because... We took away the wear man thing. I think I've debated this before, just like, you know, words change, but the ideas behind them do not. Oh! Uh, remember to study etymology at your Acme store, where we sell words for the SATs. Or probably, I don't know how American is, but there's also like ACTs and some other one. Looks like a C? I forget. But I know about the SATs. And how they're collegiate and things. It's too bad colleges turned out to be more about money. That's not to say I don't like college. I do. I just didn't have the money. You know, not even with FAFs. I don't even try that on me. Ah! Uh, look at that. I could die! Oh no! What's going to happen? Oh shit, he's dead! He's not going anywhere now. Finally, Earth is free from Dr. Proton and his techbot menace. Who the fuck am I talking to? Find out in Duke Nukem 2 when you find out who he is talking to. Congratulations, Dr. Proton is finally defeated. Using Proton's time warp device, Duke returns to Earth's present and is presented the key to the city he saved. Yeah. Did you locate all the hidden rooms on each level? On your next Apogee Games order, please tell us your best Duke Nukem I score. Thank you for playing. Excuse me, what? How do I know they were hidden? There's no secret marker. I would... I would mostly say yes. It's like, I know where they are even if I didn't access them. But it, that's just kind of... That's just kind of the thing. It's how we sell this stuff. Thank you, Department of Garland, Texas. I think Apogee's somewhere in Europe now, actually. Which is odd. But it's true. Well, that was, um, kind of a letdown. Um, see you next time when I do another filler, and then we'll get to work on Duke Nukem 2. Should be fun. I will see you next time.